Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are going to be doing a video that was requested by one of our tier 3 members here on the channel. Uh, whenever you become a member of the, of the channel at tier 3, you actually get to choose a video for me to create on any of the games I play and he chose for us to do a bow hunt with the HUD turned off and all that good stuff. So this is actually going to be very, very fun. Now, it's going to be kind of difficult to remember what I'm zeroed for with the HUD off. So this is gonna be very interesting. I think I'm just gonna zero to probably 20 and then just compensate from there because that'll make it much easier. But we're gonna try and head out onto Hirschfeld in multiplayer and see if maybe we can find something to spot and stock out in the field. So this should be pretty fun. But let's go ahead and turn the HUD off. Now, as with most of these videos, I am going to leave the track highlights and stuff like that on just to uh, make it so we can actually figure out where animals are. But we've turned off a lot of the uh, HUD to kind of clear things up and make it a little bit more immersive. Uh, so let's try to chase down some animals and hopefully we can find some good stuff. It's been a long time since I've done Hirschfeld multiplayer. So I figure this would be the perfect map to do it since it is a very brushy, thick map that is honestly perfect for this type of stuff. So let's see what we can find. Hopefully we can have some good luck today. So this is probably going to be our first target of the day. It is a level 4 fallow deer up to 217 on the estimate. This will be a good uh, first test to try and get close enough to actually take a shot with the bow. So let's see if we can stock up to this thing and get a shot on it. Ooh, there's another good one over there. We've actually got a couple really nice fallow through this area. I think we're going to go ahead and prone just so we don't spook off that other one either because I'd preferably like to take both of them if, if we can. I, I don't know if we'll be able to because of the fact that if they're close enough, it's going to spook off the second one as we take the shot, but maybe we'll get lucky and they'll be from different groups and kind of spread off a little bit. That would be ideal here. Hopefully that's the case. Oh, I hear something. We definitely have something super, super close. Let's hope this thing won't spook off and we can actually get hidden real quickly. And then wait for it to finish walking to us. That is definitely not a bow. Okay, so this is a roe deer. Let's use her to kind of test things out a little bit. That is going to be a good shot on that roe deer. It shouldn't have spooked off anything, I don't think. Yeah, our buck is still there. So we will have a chance to take him out still. But that was kind of random. We just had a female roe deer walk up to us and we managed to take it down. Let's real quickly move over here and claim it. And then we'll start inching towards that fallow. And ooh, there's the other fallow. No, it's fleeing. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess that's what we get for not really paying attention, but there's a perfect double lung shot on that little female roe deer. Very nice. So if I'm not mistaken, when we are 0 to 20 meters like we're going to be staying throughout this entire video, I think for a 40 meter shot we should only need to aim maybe at the top of the back. I, I think that'll work out. If we aim like that... Yep, that worked. Okay, so I guess at 40 meters we just need to... Oh, okay, that's actually not spooked off. Uh, but as I was saying, we need to aim just a little bit above the back of the animal, and it should sink into the lung. That worked out a lot better than I thought it would, but at least we know for future reference now that if we need to do a shot like that with no HUD on and we don't want to mess with our zeroing distances, we can hit it pretty effectively just like that. And that is the road here right there. Uh, he's probably going to spook. Unless we can be really careful here and maybe get lucky with it going broadside. Okay, here's going to be our chance to try it on a smaller target. Will this work out with a small target like a roe deer? It will! Okay, we are off to a fantastic start today. This is going so much better than I ever would have expected it to. We've already got a few trophies down and this one is a pretty good sized fallow deer at 193 with some really good looking palms. These really remind me of some of the legacy fallow deer, which I absolutely love because the legacy fallow deer have uh, quite a few memories attached to them as they were one of the first things I hunted in this game back when the original uh, pre-release beta came out in late 2016. That was the first thing that I took out was a fallow deer. So 
I've got some memories with the Fallow Deer Legacy Racks, so it's nice to see that some of the true racks still look similar to Legacy ones. And that right there is actually a Gold Roe Deer as well. Off to a great start. That is another decent Roe Deer. Uh, let's attempt quite a long shot on this one. I, I just gotta know. Can we hit a shot like this at 60 meters? Because this one is roughly 60 meters away, even more now that it's moved, so... Uh, this could be quite the challenge, but if we can manage to make it, then we'll at least know that it's possible if we uh, absolutely have to take a shot like that. Ah, oh, it moved right as I took the shot. Unfortunately, I don't think we were as hidden as I thought we were. Uh, one of the downsides to not having the HUD is I can't really tell when we're fully hidden and when we're wide open to everything that could possibly see us. And in that case, it looks like we were not hidden nearly as well as I thought, but I guess that's all part of uh, the game we're playing right now. So let's move on to see if we can find something else. Now, there should still be plenty of time to find things out in the field, so we are going to continue looking around. Okay, so this is a little bit out of the ordinary of what we were going to be doing with this challenge, but uh, we've got a bunch of European rabbits up here, so we're just going to run up and see if we can shoot a few before they spook off. Uh, the good thing about multiplayer with rabbits is they take forever to spook for some reason. I still have no clue why, but it's been a thing ever since they came out, but let's just uh, take advantage of that and take down one or two of these real quick. That guy got away. Come on. Well, I really don't know the timing we're going to need on some of these because they keep zigzagging. Let's uh, see if we can find another. I think that's going to be the only one we end up getting, but I, I wanted to real quickly just take that little detour and see if we could get one, and we did manage to. All right, well, it's now time to attempt something pretty dangerous and difficult at the same time. Uh, we're going to stock up on these European bison and just hope for the best here. There's a high chance we get charged at some point doing this, but I think it'll be fun, so we'll see if we can get close enough. There was a max weight. That is the loudest bird in the world. Can you chill, man? As I was saying, there is a max weight estimate track in this herd, so I'm hoping I can figure out where that guy is. I didn't actually get to see him. I just picked up the track, and I've now found a couple of them, but it looks like it's just the females. Maybe we can find that big male soon, though. There is also red deer here as well, which is really interesting to have them side by side. We've got red deer and we've got European bison basically next to each other, which that's actually kind of cool. Honestly, if we can get either of them, I'll be happy with that. You know, I have always found that Hirschfelden and Tiawaroa are two of the best maps for hunting with bows, primarily because of how brushy the maps are. And this is a great example of it. We're able to just sneak up on this red deer and he has absolutely no idea that we're sneaking up on him. And it's all because of this thick brush that hides our uh, hunter while we're sneaking up. Hopefully we can get a good bow shot on this guy because it's a pretty good looking level seven stag. Definitely would like to get him down. So if we could possibly make this happen, that'd be amazing. Okay, this guy's actually walking to us. Oh my gosh, he's literally 20 meters away. That's way closer than I expected him to be. Oh my gosh, we need to get the right arrow in. I don't have the right arrow in. Okay. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Oh my gosh, that was almost bad. We almost missed out on getting this stag. Because I had the wrong arrow equipped thinking that we were going to be taking out a European bison instead. That was insane i can't believe we actually swapped out in time to actually get the correct arrow that was so close but we got it down we got ourselves a pretty nice red deer let's go ahead and pick this guy up 187.10 it is a 210 kg level 7 stag a very beautiful rack on this guy i would love to get a melanistic with this rack so hopefully we can make that happen one of these days but until then uh we're unfortunately just gonna have to stick to deer like this all right i think to end things off with this video let's try to chase down these uh european bison and see if we can get one of them down i figure this will make an interesting ending so if we can possibly get close enough to take one of these that would be fantastic however this is not going to be easy but i think oh my gosh how did that drop it that is actually insane 
That is actually insane that it dropped it. And that one looked to be maybe a little bit too far forward, but very close to being good. And that right there was definitely not going to hit good. But if we can maybe just put another into it, it should go down. I still can't believe this first one. That managed to hit heart from that angle. That's crazy. That is absolutely insane that we were able to actually do that. Uh, this just shows how crazy the penetration is on 600 grain arrows. I would not be surprised if we could do a Texas heart shot with these. Maybe we'll try that in the future because I think that actually could be a possibility just based off of what we just saw there. And that second arrow hit vitals for this one as well. And I believe that was like straight through the butt of that buffalo. So yeah, this could be kind of crazy or a bison. Bison, buffalo, same thing. Uh, let's go track it down. I also did want to mention that uh, coming up in the next couple days, we should have a pretty crazy video coming out that will include uh, uh, some highlights from a stream that we did recently with Kill Clinton, where we managed to get three diamonds within two hours, which was pretty crazy. We did it all in multiplayer live on stream, and man, it was a ton of fun. But let's go ahead and pick up this uh, European bison right here and kind of see what happened. So the first shot, unfortunately, was just a little bit too far forward. However, the second one was absolutely insane. This just shows you how crazy the 600 grain broadhead tracer arrows are. Look at how far into the European bison that thing went. It literally went in through the back, uh, looks like back left uh, hind quarter and just went straight through clear to the nose. What other thing in the game could you do that with? The only thing that even comes close is the 470 and even the 470 can't do this. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. We might have to try a Texas hard shot on one of these soon. I know that's been a high request from you guys for over a year at this point and we've just never been able to make it happen in the times where I probably could have I wasn't thinking about it so maybe we'll try that in the future but yeah that's that's absolutely crazy I hope you guys enjoyed this video this was kind of fun although it took a long time just to get the footage that I managed to get for this video because Hirschfelden's not exactly my favorite map I don't really know a lot about it because I don't hunt it so it was kind of rough finding animals but we did get enough to at least uh, have some fun with the bow. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys liked most about this video. And also, if you made it this far in the video, clear to the end, just say I made it down in the comments so that I know which ones of you actually made it through the whole video. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.